This is Lee Hollins. I'm a retired battalion chief from Cedar Hammock Fire Rescue in Bradenton, Florida. Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. In this session, we're going to be talking about fire situations under the tanker trailer, around the tanker trailer, and what you need to know to safely mitigate such an emergency. What uh, the situation may be is it may be at a fuel station where the operator is offloading fuel. There may be an overfill of the underground tanks, which would put product in the uh, gas station parking lot, or there may be a situation where either a mistake is made or a shortcut is taken, and you get vapor that is all around the parking lot of the station convenience store, and a perfect ignition source for that is gonna be the catalytic converter on any vehicle. There is one major, major point I would like to make, and that is this. You may get a call for that fire situation and you might be heading down the boulevard and you're a half mile away and you're looking, it's daytime, you don't see any smoke or anything, but you pull up and there's flames all over the parking lot, but there's no smoke. Lack of smoke equals a vapor fire. So you can have that situation and if fuel is still being offloaded, vapors are being pumped out and let's say the operator didn't put down the vapor line, those vapors are going all over the parking lot and if they are ignited by a catalytic converter or something else, those vapors will be burning. It's going to look really bad, but it's going to be a vapor fire because of lack of smoke. If you're rolling down a boulevard, you're a half mile away and you see that black column of smoke in the air, that means that liquid's burning. So in either situation, you're just going to need to address that and see what is the best course of action. And I could tell you, one of the best courses of action, probably the first priority, absolutely I'll say the first priority, is get to the left front of the tanker trailer and turn off the belly valves by activating the emergency switch at that location. Front left always, it may be marked, it may not be marked, and that of course only works when the tanker trailer is on its wheels. It'll close all the belly valves, so each compartment has a belly valve. So that is important to note. The other situation is you have a fire under this tanker trailer. Let's say a vehicle has underrode the tanker trailer, or let's say the rear tires are burning uh, as it was going down a highway, either from a rupture of a tire or, and, and the steel bands get caught around and heat up and the tires start burning on a tanker trailer. Here's the situation. Any tanker trailer that has a fire situation underneath of it is a lot worse looking than it actually is. You want to extinguish that fire as soon as you can with foam, dry chemical, CO, uh, preferably not using water on any petroleum product. But the important thing is that if there's fire underneath this tanker trailer, which is made of single wall aluminum, right, if that is full of product, that fire will not breach through this aluminum that liquid will keep that aluminum cool enough that it will not breach through. So you don't have an issue with that. If the tanker trailer is empty in that area of the fire, what will happen is when that fire reaches 1200 degrees, 1100 degrees, the aluminum will melt away. You may get a little of pressure, but there's not gonna be any type of an explosion. It's just gonna be aluminum melting away because of the melting point of the aluminum. So not a big deal and it's going to look a lot worse than it is. So that's how you need to look at these situations with the fires under or around a gasoline tanker trailer. With that said, this is Lee Hollins. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.